This is Richard Hittleman welcoming you to Yoga for Life. You are about to embark upon a fascinating adventure into well-being, a journey which will leave you with a lifetime method for gaining unequaled health of body and mind and the sense of a new life. Please sit down easily and gracefully on your practice mat. Do that now and lower yourself slowly with control and poise. When you are seated, slowly extend both legs straight out before you and relax for a few moments. I feel it is important for you to know that yoga is the world's oldest and most effective system of physical and mental health and development. You will find these records a most convenient method for learning and practicing the wonderful yoga techniques. Use them as a supplement to my television program, Yoga for Health, or as a complete form of instruction in itself. Now, the records are designed so that you may use any single record for any practice session. However, for best results, it is suggested that you use sides 1 and 2 for your practice session on one day, and sides 3 and 4 for the next day, then back to 1 and 2, and so forth. Always place the illustrated booklet near you so that you may refer to the figures as necessary. And always remember that yoga brings progressive results. That is, each day stiffness, tightness, and tension will gradually disappear as you regain youthful flexibility, strength, and vitality. Yoga for life means just what its title implies. You will feel alive. You will be alive by devoting from 20 to 40 minutes each day to these dynamic life-giving techniques. May I wish you every success in this wonderful venture you are about to undertake. And now, Yoga for Life. Now, you are seated on your mat with your legs extended straight out before you. Keep your spine straight. Let us now learn the classical yoga method of relaxing in one of the lotus postures so that we can perform the wonderfully revitalizing complete breath. To do the half lotus, slowly bend your left leg at the knee. Do that now. And bring your left foot toward you so that you can take it with both hands and place your left heel close into the groin area. Make sure that your left foot is against the inside of your right thigh, not underneath it. This is the position of figure one. Now, bend your right leg at the knee, take your right foot with both hands, and place it either in the fold of the left leg or on the top of the left thigh, whichever seems more comfortable. Sit erect. Touch the index fingers of both hands to the thumb. This is the completed half lotus of figure two. Although your right knee may be up in the air, it will, as the stiffness in your ankles, knees, and thighs is removed, gradually lower itself toward the floor. So this is not a point of concern. Keep your spine erect, but not tense. Lower your eyelids. Now, remain absolutely still for several moments in this beautiful, ancient, serene posture. All right? Now, let us loosen up with the opposite side. That is, slowly extend both legs straight out before you. Do that now, and remember to move slowly and gracefully. Gently massage your knees with your hands for a moment. Now, let's do the opposite set of movements by bending your right leg at the knee. Do that now. Take your right foot, and with your hands, place the right heel into the groin area, so that the right foot rests against the upper part of the left thigh. Now, bring in your left foot, and place it, as before, either in the fold of the right leg, or on top of the right thigh, whichever is more comfortable. Sit erect. Touch the index fingers of both hands to the thumbs. Now, the left knee may be up in the air. If this is so, do not be concerned, since it will gradually lower itself. Feel the posture on this side as compared to the other side. Now, choose the side in which the half lotus is the more comfortable for you and place yourself in the posture. Lower your eyelids. Relax. Remain absolutely still. At this point, 
If you have tried the half lotus on both sides according to the instructions and find that it is too difficult for one reason or another, then you should now sit in this simple cross-legged posture as depicted in figure three. Do that now if necessary. Remain absolutely still. Open your eyes. We are now ready to perform the complete breath. Breathe normally. Place your fingertips on your abdomen. Now, push out with your abdominal muscles and distend your abdomen as depicted in figure four. Repeat this movement two or three times by using your abdominal muscles to first contract or pull in with the abdomen and then slowly distend or push out with the abdomen. Try these movements several times, first pulling in and then pushing out. All right, stop. Now, place your hands on your knees and now pull in with the abdomen and expand your chest as much as possible. Do not be afraid to make this an exaggerated movement as you see in figure five, but you are still breathing normally. Do not hold your breath. Finally, keep your chest expanded and still breathing normally. Raise your shoulders as you see in figure six, that is as high as possible, but do not become tense and continue to breathe normally. Hold this final position with the shoulders raised and not tense, just for a moment. Now, very slowly lower your shoulders, very slowly. Relax your chest and easily return to the original relaxed position. Good. Now, we wish to make these three movements flow easily, one into another, so that there is a continuity. And we will count three for each of these movements so that during the first count of three, we will distend the abdomen. In the second three, we will draw in the abdomen and expand the chest, and in the final three, we will raise the shoulders. We will then hold the final position for a count of three, and then easily lower completely in a count of nine. We will continue to breathe as normally as possible throughout these movements. Now relax. Breathe normally. And now, get set to distend your abdomen. Ready? Begin. One, two, abdomen comes out. Now, chest expanded, six, and finally, shoulders raised, nine. Now hold, two, three, now slowly relax, four, five, six, and return to the original relaxed position, nine. Fine, rest a moment. Now, we wish to repeat these exact movements but now in conjunction with one long inhalation, a short retention of the breath, and then one long exhalation. And all breathing, both inhalation and exhalation, will be done through the nose, no mouth breathing. First, we will exhale through the nose so that all air is emptied completely from your lungs. Ready? Do that now. Exhale through your nose so that the lungs are completely emptied. Now, get set to inhale. Ready? Begin. One, two, abdomen comes way out. Four, now chest expanded, six, and finally still inhaling, shoulders raised, hold. Two, three, now relax. Two, three, four, and exhale all of the air from your lungs. Eight, nine, now without pause, begin to inhale. Ready? Begin. Two, abdomen out chest expanded, five, six, shoulders raised, nine, hold, let the blood take the oxygen, the life force, release, two, three, and exhale all air from the lungs, six, seven, now without pause, begin to inhale, ready, one, two, abdomen out, chest coming out, shoulders raised, hold, Close your eyes, two, three, release, two, three, slowly, five, relax, six, empty all the air from your lungs, nine, and now inhale very deeply, ready, way in, three, chest coming out, six, shoulders raised, 
nine, and hold without being tense, three, release and exhale, three, four, five, six, eyes closed, lungs emptied, and this last time, inhale very deeply, ready, begin, two, three, now chest expanded, six, shoulders raised, nine, hold, the blood takes the life force, the oxygen, release, and exhale, three, four, eyes closed, six, all air is now emptied, nine, keep your eyes closed, breathe normally, remain absolutely still, relax. Now, open your eyes and slowly stretch your legs straight out before you. Do that slowly. Gently massage your knees with your hands. Keep your legs together. We are now going to stretch away tensions as well as firm and strengthen the entire back and both legs with our rejuvenating leg stretches. Slowly and gracefully raise your arms before you to shoulder level. Do that now. Raise your arms with your hands together as in figure 7. Now, slowly bend backward at the waist so that your arms and hands are pointed upward as in figure 8. Keep your hands together. Now, perform a slow motion dive bending way forward from the waist and take hold of the furthermost part of your legs that you can hold without strain. This may be your knees, calves, ankles, or feet. It does not matter how far forward you can reach. You are never to strain in yoga. Now, take a firm hold on your legs with your hands and let your elbows come outward and pull your trunk down gently as far as you can. Draw your forehead down toward your knees, as you will see in figure 9. Hold your extreme position absolutely still now for the following count of 15, 2, Three, relax in this position, for there is to be no strain, simply a stretch. Ten, the backs of your knees must be on the floor. Fourteen, fifteen, all right, fine. Now, very slowly straighten up, very slowly straighten up, and as you do so, bring your arms up with your hands together, just as before. Slowly, now lean backward. And this time, go back as far as you can so that your abdominal muscles are brought into play. This will greatly strengthen them. Now, come way up and once again dive way over and down, very slowly, and see if you can come forward an inch or two further. Now, once again, hold the furthermost part of your legs you can reach without strain. And now, pull down gently. Draw your forehead toward your knees. Let your elbows bend outward, and this time we'll hold for 20 seconds. Two, three, absolutely no motion. Six, and no strain. Nine, backs of the knees on the floor. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, your neck completely limp. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Now, slowly straighten up, very slowly, take your time. And this time, simply rest your hands on your knees. Relax. Keep your spine erect. It is the slow motion movement and the hold in the extreme positions that is unique with yoga and gives us tremendous benefits. With this type of movement, only a few repetitions are necessary. And that is why 20 minutes of yoga is worth hours of ordinary exercise. Now, we will stretch with the legs separately. Bend your left leg at the knee and bring your left foot toward you so that you can place your left heel close into the groin area, exactly as in the first part of the half lotus. This will be the position of figure 10. Now, we'll perform the exact same movement with our arms and trunk as we have just done, only this time we'll be stretching with the right leg only. Ready? Bring your arms up slowly to shoulder level with your hands together. Move gracefully with poise and balance. Now, bend as far backward as you can, and this is depicted for you in figure 11. 
Now come way up, over and down, take your time, and hold the furthermost part of your right leg that you can reach. Bend your elbows outward and draw your trunk down as far as possible. Let your neck go limp and allow your forehead to drop down toward your right knee, way down. This is the position that you will see in figure 12. Don't be concerned if your left knee is in the air. Hold absolutely still for the following count of 20. 3, 4, the back of the right knee is on the floor. 8, 9, feel the stretch throughout the leg and thigh and in the left side of your waist. This is a wonderful strengthening and firming movement. 19, 20, all right? Now, slowly straighten up, very slowly, take your time. And once again, bring your arms up slowly with the hands touching. Lean back as far as you can go. And now very gracefully come way up, over and down, and give your best effort this time. Hold the right ankle or even your foot if you can. And this will certainly be possible with practice. Now the elbows bend outward as before. The trunk is drawn down and the neck goes limp. Lower your eyelids this time. Hold for 20, 2, 3, 4, absolutely no motion, 7, 8, 9, the back of the right knee on the floor, 14, 15, and this is also an excellent movement for firming and reducing excess weight in the thighs and the waist. All right, now very slowly straighten the trunk upward, take your time. Now you're sitting erect. Now slowly stretch out your left leg. Massage the left knee gently with your hands. Now bring your right foot in and place the right heel close into the groin area. Let us do the identical movements with the left leg. Ready? Raise the arms, hands together gracefully and slowly. Bend backward at the waist. Now, reach way up, over, and down, and hold the furthermost part of the left leg that you can reach. Close your eyes. Pull your trunk downward gently, without strain. Bend your elbows outward. Let your neck go limp. Hold. Two, three, four. Keep your mind on what you are doing. Eight, nine, and the back of your left knee must be on the floor. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Keep your eyes closed and now very slowly straighten up. Bring your arms up once again. Hands touching. Lean backward. Make your abdominal muscles work as you come back. Now, give this your best effort. Come way up and over and down, hold, your elbows go outward, keep your mind on what you are doing, seven, eight, nine, and remember that these are the most wonderful stretching movements to relieve tensions and fatigue in your legs, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good, now slowly straighten up, take your time very slowly, Rest your hands on your left knee for a moment. Now, bring in the left leg and sit in the half lotus or cross-legged posture. Keep your spine erect. Relax. We are now going to perform two standing postures. Therefore, I will ask you to stand up now. Move slowly and gracefully and attempt to raise yourself with poise and balance. 
stand erect and still on your mat. We are going to do first the side bend exercise for reducing and firming in the waist and thighs. Stand with your legs approximately two feet apart. And now, slowly raise your arms from your sides, palms facing down, until your arms are at shoulder level, and this will be the position of figure 13. Now, slowly begin to bend to your left. Bring your left arm down, and when you go halfway down, you will be in the position of figure 14. Now, to attain the complete position, touch some part of your left leg, and your right arm will automatically come up. Your fingers should be pointing straight upward in the final position of figure 15. If you cannot bend this far, simply go as far as possible perhaps remaining in the position of figure 14. Now, allow your neck to go limp and hold your position absolutely still for the following count of 20. Two, three, neck limp. Six, seven, eight. Feel the pull and stretch in the right side of your waist. 14, 15, 16, 17, no motion. 20. Now. Very slowly straighten up until you are standing erect once again with your arms extended, just as you began. Now, let us bend in exactly the same movements to your right side. Ready? Begin to bend to the right and go down slowly as far as you can. The ultimate position would be to have your right hand touch your right knee or calf and your left arm straight overhead. Let your neck go limp and hold your extreme position, whatever it is. Two, three, no motion. Six, seven, eight. This time, feel the pull and stretch in the left side of your waist. Fifteen, sixteen, left arm way over, nineteen, twenty. All right, very slowly straighten to the erect position, take your time. Your arms are still extended. Now, move your feet slightly further apart. And let's bend off to your left once again. Ready? Begin to bend slowly. And this time, attempt to stretch an inch or two further. You're going off to your left. You're going to attempt to touch your left leg. Hold. Two, three, four. Remember that your neck goes completely limp. Eight, nine, ten. And to get the greatest stretch, bring your right arm way over your head. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right? Very slowly, straighten up to the erect position. Take your time, do that slowly. Keep your arms extended. And now we will bend for the last time to your right. Ready? Bend slowly. And this time, Attempt to stretch an inch or two further on the right side. Touch your right leg if you can. Hold. Two, three, four. Neck limp. Seven, eight, nine. And again, to get the greatest stretch for your left side, bring your left arm way up over your head. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, slowly straighten to the upright position. Take your time doing that. And now, slowly lower your arms to your sides. Everything very slowly in yoga. Now, bring your feet together. Stand still. And relax. Now, for a complete backward and forward stretch, for loosening your entire spine and relieving tension, we will do the chest expansion posture. Standing erect in a good posture with your heels close together, abdomen drawn in, and your chest naturally expanded, slowly bring your arms up from your sides. And as they come up, bend your elbows and bring your hands in so that your thumbs touch your chest as in figure 16. The fingers are together. Now, slowly stretch your arms straight out before you, 
Do that slowly, stretch them straight out, and now bring your arms slowly back on a level with your shoulders. Continue to bring your arms back as far as possible, but keep your trunk erect and don't bend or slump forward. Now, clasp your hands behind your back and straighten out your arms behind you as far as you can without strain, but do not bend forward. This is the position of figure 17. Now, very slowly and carefully, begin to bend backward at your waist. Drop your head slightly backward, as you will see in figure 18. Keep your eyes open and feel the stretch and expansion throughout the abdomen, chest, bust, and neck, but do not strain. Now, slowly straighten up, very slowly, and begin to bend forward at the waist and bring your clasped hands up and over your back as you bend forward and down as far as you can go. Keep your knees straight. Now, when you have come forward and down as far as possible without strain, allow your neck to go limp so that the blood will flow into your head. Remain in this position of figure 19 for the following count of 20. Two, three, four, neck limp. Seven, eight, remain absolutely still with your clasped hands up over your back as high as possible, and each day you will be able to bend forward a little further. 19, 20. Now, very slowly begin to straighten up. Take your time, do this slowly. Keep your knees straight and your hands clasped. And when you are standing in the erect position, unclasp your hands easily. Return them slowly to your sides. Just relax a moment. Stand perfectly still. Now let us repeat the chest expansion posture. Once again, very gracefully, begin to bring your arms up from your sides. The arms bend at the elbows. And you bring your hands in toward your chest so that the thumbs touch the chest. Now, stretch your arms straight out before you. Get them way out, straight out. Now, begin to bring them back on shoulder level. Get them back as far as they will go. Now, clasp your hands behind you, but don't slump forward. Remain standing erect. Now, straighten your arms out behind you, as far as you can go. Now, keep them high. Now, very gracefully, gently, bend backward at the waist. Bend backward easily. Go back as far as you can without strain. Drop your head back slightly. Keep your eyes open. Hold it, and keep your hands high. Good? Fine. Now, very slowly start to come forward and bring your clasped hands up over your back. Bend forward at the waist. Keep your knees straight. Your forehead goes down toward your knees and your neck goes limp. Hold it. Three, four, five. Let the blood run into the head and keep the knees absolutely straight. Ten. Hold it without motion. Absolutely still. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fine. Very slowly start to straighten up. Take your time. Your hands are still clasped. You come up very slowly. And now, when you're standing erect, once again, unclasp your hands. Let them relax at your sides. Good. Now, we are going to sit down as gracefully as possible. And a good way to do this is to cross your ankles. Do that now. Cross your ankles and lower your body. Do that now. Keep your hands ready to support the weight of your body if necessary. When you are seated, you will be automatically in a simple cross-legged posture. Remain that way with your spine erect. Remember always to think gracefully and move with poise and balance. The body is the temple of the spirit and it must radiate health and beauty. For through it we will grow, develop, and mature. Next, for firming the thighs and removing stiffness in your feet and ankles and streamlining the abdomen, chest, bust, and neck, we will do the backward bend exercise. Stretch your legs straight out and swing your legs around under you. Do that now. Place your knees together on the floor in front of you and easily lower yourself so that you are sitting on your heels with the top of your feet on the floor. Place your fingertips on the floor on either side of you. This is the position of figure 20. Now, carefully inch your way backward with your fingertips and hands 
until you have gone back a comfortable distance. Keep your arms parallel with your side and have your fingers pointing behind you. Now, we will perform the movements which you see in figure 21 by slowly and carefully dropping your head backward as far as possible and arching your spine way upward. Do that now. Head back, spine way up, but remain seated on your heels. Now hold this position for the following count of 15, 2, 3, head way back, 6, 7, knees together, 10, 11, no motion, remain absolutely still, 15, good, now slowly raise your head and relax your spine but stay seated on your heels and keep the rest of the position just as it is, rest a moment. If your feet are uncomfortable, you can come forward with your hands and raise your trunk from your heels for a few moments. We are now going to repeat, and this time I will ask you to attempt to move your hands backward a few inches further than the first time. Ready? Do that now. Move back carefully a little further with your hands. Arms are still parallel with your side. Stop whenever it grows difficult as we never strain in yoga. Now, let's do the exact same movements. Ready? Drop your head backward and arch your spine way up. And hold for the following count of 20. Two, three, the knees are together. Six, seven, stay on your heels. And feel the stretch throughout the groin, abdomen, chest, bust, and neck. 18, 19, 20, good. Now, raise your head first. Relax your spine. Now, slowly walk in with your hands until you are back in the upright position of figure 20. Now, let's very briefly loosen and strengthen the ankles, feet, and toes by simply changing the position of the feet so that the toes rest on the floor and you once again rest by sitting on the heels. Do that now, carefully and slowly, and you will be in the position of figure 22. You are now resting your trunk on your heels and the toes are on the floor. Hold this position for a count of 20. Two, three, four. Of course, rest only as much weight as you can comfortably on your heels and remain absolutely still. Twelve. There is no machine or gadget that can loosen and strengthen your feet and toes as this simple movement. 20. Good. Very slowly raise your trunk, swing yourself around and sit on the floor once again. If your feet or toes are uncomfortable, gently massage them with your hands. The toes, ankles and feet are usually extremely tense and stiff and you must gradually regain your youthful flexibility in these areas through the yoga stretches. Now, sit in the half lotus or cross-legged posture, spine erect, and relax for several moments without movement. And now, an ingenious yoga exercise to quickly loosen and strengthen the entire spine. Extend both legs straight out before you. Do that now. Now, carefully cross your left leg over your right so that the heel of your left leg rests on the floor close to your right leg. Place your left hand down firmly on the floor beside you. And this is the position of figure 23. Now, follow this carefully. Raise your right arm and extend it straight out before you. Now move it slightly to the left so that it comes over your left knee. And now lower your right arm and hold that right knee with your right hand. These movements will lock the lower spine and you are now in the position of figure 24. Now we can twist the spine against this lock by keeping the left hand firmly on the floor. And now let us slowly turn and twist your trunk to your left. Do that now. Turn slowly and twist as far to the left as possible, turning your head way around to the left as though you would rest your chin on your left shoulder. Hold this position of figure 25 
for the following 15 seconds. Three, four, head way around. Seven, eight, and feel the entire spine twisting. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, fine. Very slowly, turn your trunk forward, but hold the lock. Relax a moment. Now, let's repeat. Ready? Slowly twist off to your left. Get around as far as possible. Turn your head very far around. Now, close your eyes. Hold. Two, three. This is a wonderful movement for helping to reduce excess weight in the waistline and firm that area as well. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Now, very slowly turn forward. Relax a moment. Cross your left leg back over your right, and once again you will have both legs extended straight out before you. Now, let us do the identical movements on the right side. That is, now cross your right leg over your left so that the heel of your right leg rests on the floor close to your left leg. Place your right hand down firmly on the floor beside you, and now raise your left arm straight out before you. Move it slightly to the right so that it comes over your right knee, and now lower your left arm and hold that left knee with your left hand. Once again, this movement locks the lower spine. Now, we can twist the spine to the right. Ready? Keep your right hand firmly on the floor, and now slowly turn and twist your trunk to the right. Twist as far to the right as possible, turning your head way around to your right, as though you would rest your chin on your right shoulder. Hold. Two, three, breathe normally, do not hold your breath. Seven, eight, feel the entire spine twisting, it should feel very good. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fine. Very slowly, turn your trunk forward, but hold the lock as before. Relax a moment. Now, let's repeat for the last time, and this time give the posture your best effort. The further the twist, the more the benefit. Ready? Slowly twist off to your right. Get around as far as possible. Turn your head very far around. Close your eyes. Hold. Two, three, absolutely still. Six, seven, eight. Keep your mind always on what you're doing in these movements. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Now, very slowly turn forward. Do that now. Good. Cross your right leg back over your left, and once again have both legs extended straight out before you. Now, bring in your legs and sit in the half lotus or cross-legged posture. Relax. We will finish with a complete breath. Sit erect. Index fingers touch the thumbs. Lower your eyelids. Exhale all air from your lungs through your nose. Do that now. Get all the air out of your lungs. Now, get set to inhale. Ready? Begin. One, two, abdomen out. Chest expanded. Five, six. Shoulders raised. Nine, hold. Two, three, release. Two, three, Relax easily and exhale completely, emptying your lungs. Nine. Without pause, begin to inhale. One, two, abdomen out, chest expanded, six, shoulders raised, nine, hold, two, three, release, two, three, relax and exhale completely, seven, eight, nine, Fine. Breathe normally. Keep your eyelids lowered. We have now completed this practice session. Relax and remain absolutely still for at least one minute.